So if you'll follow me now. As Christy Mason prepared for the school year starting without her students in the classroom. I just felt so lonely and it was kind of sad knowing my students weren't going to be here with me. Miss Mason, you break it up. She knew she wanted to somehow bring them to school anyways. Then I went ahead and assigned them a seat. Mason and Brightling Elementary School's librarian printed out pictures of each of her students, put them in their seats with a name tag. I was also concerned would I be able to get to know them and learn their faces and their names just online. On the first day, she showed her kids. Any questions? That even if they were home. I just wanted my students to know that even though they're not here, they're in my heart and that they're thought of every day and that I miss them. I wish that they were here with me. They have a place in her homeroom. They absolutely love knowing that they already have a place here. Mason says it makes her feel more connected to them. Thank you, David. I saw yours. But it's still not the same. We're used to so much activity. Um, and just hearing the hustle and bustle in the classroom and outside the hallway. I can put students in here, but it doesn't kind of cover that gap and that aspect of it. And as Mobile County Public Schools begin a phased return to the classroom next week, she says she'll leave up any of her children who opt to continue remote learning. My online kids are still going to be loved and get just as much attention as my at school kids. In Grand Bay, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.